What's up, Snake fans? Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and this is technically the weekend edition, but it really isn't. It's kind of like a early Monday morning edition because it's 2 in the morning and it's Monday. And because with this quarantine, there's really no days of the week anymore. Weekend, weekdays, who knows? I had to come into the snake room because I had a suspicion that I was going to have a clutch, and I did have a clutch of eggs on the ground, and one of this, uh, the female that delivered this clutch was what we call a dinker. She's one of my little project to have on the side. She's got a little something a little weird about her. I don't know. That just strikes me as being different. And I've been trying to breathe, you know, prove out this whatever might be going on there. Anomaly, you can say. Whether it's genetic or not genetic or polygenetic or just in my head, I don't know. So basically, she, I saw her delivering some eggs a little earlier today because I've been checked. I check usually the females a couple times a day now because we're in that delivery, you know, season we're still getting ovulations, but we're also getting a lot of eggs on the ground. So let's take a look, see what she produced. Uh, hopefully something good will come of it. And uh, we'll have to see if uh, maybe it'll be the next great gene. You never know. But it is what it is. We'll go into the snake room on this Sunday night or Monday morning. Take a look. And I promise you I'm going to try to give you a full uh, show tomorrow as well. A lot of people have been asking me how to pack snakes, so I got to send out some snakes tomorrow. So I'm going to show you how I, I pack my snakes and go over a couple other things as well. Let's check out what's going on. This is a very relevant topic. Here's my um, blood. Poshet leopard, female. Doing a little cage cleaning, and that's really what I'm talking about. And I'm showing you on the right is my typical bounty paper towel. It's actually my Sam's Club bounty paper towel, which is pretty much the same. And on the left is my Bounty's Essentials, which is basically a cheaper version of this. And the question is, will they absorb any differently? Now, obviously, I had to go to this one because times are tough now to find paper towels, and you got to take what you can get. I had to go to Dollar General and get those right by my house. These I had from my, these were my original paper towels I always use. The question will be, which will be more absorbent? Will I notice a difference? Will I have to use more of the one on the left than on the one on the right? We shall see, and I shall keep you updated in these paper towel times. It seems like the scarcity issue is, is, is coming to an end, however, though. I can now buy paper towels, which is key. I don't care. I don't, the money doesn't even ask, factor into it with me. I just want to have the availability. I like to use paper towels. I don't like to use... Um, shavings if I don't have to. I use the coconut uh, husk shavings for the blue tongue skinks, but that's because they, they like, they need to bury, they like to burrow and do all that crazy stuff. But look at it, it's a mess. It's a mess. Can you imagine if I used it for all my cages? I, it, would, it would be so much dust in here, so I, that's why I don't do it. I like paper towels. I also like to put snakes on paper towels anyway because I like to clean them more frequently. I know if I keep them on coconut husk, I will not clean the cages as, as frequently, and that's not good. Not good for the health. Now, why this snake is hanging out in the garbage, I don't know, <laughs> but I will keep you updated on the paper towel situation. All right, no matter how late it is here, it could be two in the morning, we gotta pull clutches. So now this is a um, an interesting one. This is what we call a dinker. A lot of you might not know what the word dinker means. Dinker means it's a snake that has something going on, possibly, some kind of genetic weirdness to it that could be genetically inherited, could be recessive, could be incomplete dominant, could be polygenic, could be nothing. This is one of my dinker, actually it might be my only dinker project I have, and she's produced for me the last couple of years, and I always get very unusual babies, and I hold them back, and. I haven't really proved out anything yet, but she's interesting. So she's on a clutch of eggs here. I bred her to a banana pastel um, mandarin this year. Let's see what we get. See if anything looks weird. Since I seem to know what mandarin and banana and pastel look like together now, I want to see if it can throw something a little different. So this is what we call you. This is my dinker female. She's on a nice little mound of eggs. I, don't, I haven't looked at them yet, so I don't know how... how good they're going to be or not. Maybe I can take a little peek without, you know, getting bit. Let's see. Okay. We got a bunch, we got, I think there's at least one or two good eggs in there. There's, a, there's definitely some slugs in there though. 
That male I bred to her was his first year breeding, so sometimes you don't get a great fertility with that. She produced a lot of babies last year for me, so I would have to blame the male for that, but that's okay. As long as we got a couple, that's good. I'm all okay with that. Let's pull this and see what we got. All right, so not such a great clutch. A lot of eggs, two, four, six, eight, nine eggs, only one good one. That's the only one that has anything. These are all slugs. They have nothing in them. They, they're just crap, basically. They're, they're, they're just not fertilized. I don't know. This one's perfect. This is like an ideal egg, and these other ones just didn't make it. You don't know. Young males sometimes just are not very fertile. I don't know. Weird. <clears throat> but, you know, it's I can't blame her. She's given me a couple good clutches a few years in a row, so... And she gave us a lot of eggs. They just were not fertilized by all that sperm. Bad sperm! Bad sperm, no. <laughs> Young males, that's what you'll get. Let's see. Hopefully, maybe we'll hit the odds on this, this single egg. Could be a surprise. All right, guys, that's going to be it for tonight. One good egg. What are you going to do? Hey, one good egg is better than zero good eggs. I got plenty of great... I, I had a mandarin to mandarin pairing last year. I produced a super mandarin. One egg clutch. One egg clutch. That was great, right? So you can't you can't really always say that things don't go right. I had a one egg clutch from a, a scaleless head, or I should say scaleless head, head albino to a candino, and I produced, and I've, you've seen this snake if you guys watch my uh, my shows on a regular basis, I produced an albino scaleless head on a one egg clutch. So the odds can be with me. We could produce a uh, mandarin pastel banana dinker who knows you never know it could be an amazing looking thing it could be nothing it could be irregular you never know that's that's the odds that's the game we play that's the dice we roll you never know what's going to happen all right guys if you enjoy what you're watching make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your notifications hit that like button i'll see you back tomorrow morning